Referee Mick Lemons in charge of this FCC amateur middleweight title fight. Graham Meeland from the MMA Academy Liverpool in the black and grey taking on the undefeated 8-0. Igor Paskarskis of Team Elite and Hammer wearing the solid black board shorts. Brad Warner and Josh Palmer calling the action. Five three-minute rounds. And it's Meeland getting the first licks in, Josh. Yeah, central of the cage looking to dictate the pace on this one. Saw nice. Milan shadow boxing earlier on. Some very fast, tight, straight combinations. I think that could be the key here with this open guard of Puskaskis. See the hands are wide apart, those shots straight down the pipe. Could really pay dividends. Oh, huge head kick from Milan. We've seen him use that before. But this is Puskaskis' wheelhouse here, Josh. He's known as a grinder. He's known for making it really awkward and difficult up against the fence and on the mat. And he's known for playing out full fights from positions like these. Yeah, he closed the distance so incredibly quickly. And Midland looked to use that whizzer to turn and throw in defense. And what he ended up doing was giving up the bottom position here. But a good job getting back to those butterfly hooks. Of course, he needs to be sitting up to use them effectively. Lying on your back is going to take away a lot of the momentum you can generate. And you've got to think if there's anyone who's going to be capable of fighting from their back, it's going to be a Jason Tan student. But Paskarski is known to be so strong from this top position, really sticking to Graham Meelan like glue here, Josh. Yeah, I mean, if, if someone really flattens out in this half guard in, in this day and age, it can be a, a really troubling position. Not so much because they're landing damage, but as you said, they're grinding on you and they're just wearing you down. And it just becomes oppressive and slightly stale sometimes. Uh, and looking for the sweep there and he gets it. Really good use of that figure four grip on the arm to get the reversal. Let's see what he can do here to progress. And this would be a big turn up for the books if Graham Meelan could submit Igor Paskarskis 8-0 in unified amateur competition. Yeah, he's trying to break that grip. It's going to be hard to finish this with his legs in the position they are. There are options for him, of course, but see what happens with the grip from here. And Puskarskis was just stopping it there by grabbing the underside of his own thigh. Of course, you can grab your own shorts to stop a submission. You cannot grab your opponent's shorts. Looking for the elevator sweep to one side now, going to the head and arm grip. Looking to perhaps walk that guard up high is Puskarskis. Yeah, Milan looking for an over-under combination pass here. Goes back to standing and falls for the straight ankle lock. Achilles tendon pull here yeah, he, from Graham Milan. Really trying oh, to crank this, it. This might be on, but I've got to say, it looks like it's too deep in uh, the crook of his elbow rather than the radial bone. And the posture is cleared by Puskarskis. Milan has to watch for a knee bar here, potentially. Not going to have the time, though. No, I think it was a good decision from Milan. To go for that, I mean, there wasn't long left. It was a bit of a Hail Mary. You know, he might have got a deep bite on it, but um, just arm positioning, just letting him down a little bit. But he did a great job of sweeping technically and then looking to recover. Uh, you know, what looked like it was going to be Puskaskis' round from the beginning. It's certainly going to give the judges something to think about as they tally their scorecards for that first frame. Very interesting first round in this FCC amateur middleweight title fight. Of course, we were supposed to see an amateur middleweight number one contenders bout between Mitchell Maximus Richards, a veteran of the original FCC shows, and SPGI's Ben Forth. Unfortunately, an injury to Mitchell Richards put paid to that bout earlier this week. We wish Mitchell a speedy recovery. 
and hopefully we'll be able to get that fight on for the FCC fans later this year. 17th of October, we'll be back at the Macron for a huge card to end the year. But now business at hand in the middleweight division. Graham Meeland, Igor Puskaskis about to start the second of five three-minute rounds if they need them. It's going to be a close one to, to call who got that first. I think on balance, I'd probably personally lean towards Graham Meelan having the slightly better and more technically uh, proficient uh, uh, you know, part of the action. Nice push kick to the body to open things up for Meelan there. You, you've got to say, unquestionably, Meelan looks more confident on the feet than Puskaskis. You've got to say he's taking the centre of the cage, his stance looks a little bit more composed. And he's the one looking to push, throwing the feints and throwing the shots. Puskaskis being very defensive and passive in this position until that happened. It's always the risk when you're throwing the body kicks against the wrestler. But again, he's looking for that Kimura sweep here, Josh. He is, but he's got to be careful. He doesn't let Puskaskis walk all the way up his body in the process. Oh, could get it again here, though. Puskaskis has got to tuck that hand on the inside of his thigh. And he can use that to backstep really effectively and pass here. There we go, looking to walk round. And again here, he could, he could far side spinning armbar here, unquestionably. It's a huge option for him. Milan still looking calm and collected on the bottom. And this is really where you don't want to be against a guy like Puskaskis, who's so strong on top. Yeah, I'm interested to see what the, uh, the offensive game of Puskaskis is like. Uh, if he's actually going to attempt any striking from this position, if he's actually going to attempt any submissions or, you know, from this position. One hook in. Oh, well stripped by Milan though. See how quickly he shot that leg straight to clear the hook. Two hooks back in for Puskaskis again though. Milan able to clear one. And it's certainly looking like Josh. Ego Puskaskis. Not really looking to throw strikes from this position, not looking to chip away at his man. Just looking to hang on, wear him down, grind him down as he searches perhaps for a rear naked choke. He's going under the chin here, yeah, Josh. Good back this is strong. tight. Certainly could be. He's gone to the short choke option. And Meeland looking like he's... Oh, and there we go. And there's the submission. Igor Puskaskis, 9-0. A valiant effort from Graham Meeland there, Josh. But Puskarski is so strong on top, so strong from the back. I think methodical and grinding is definitely the best way to describe it. I mean, he had a clear game plan. It was not engaged too much on the feet. Score that takedown and then just crush your opponent all the way through to constantly progress your position. I mean, it was really nice, you know, wrestling style ground game from Igor Puskarski. <laughs> what a leg you fucking out. Right, well done. Well done. Thanks. Thank you. That was that was a fast shot. Come here. Put it on. Put it on, man. Put it on, man. Champion, Igor 
Rico! Play! 